Hi guys, this is Sai Kumar Kurtiwada. In this video, we will learn about Angular Guards in Angular 16. And we also learn about how these guards help us in routes. So in this video, we will learn how guards works in Angular, types of guards in Angular, how to create guards in Angular using CLI, and also options to create different types of guards in Angular 16. So till Angular 14 and 15, so we can create a guard only in one way that is a class guard but we can create a functional guard in angular 16 which will be very easy to configure thing so now let me quickly jump into visual studio code and create some set of routes so now before going to understand the scenarios what i'll try to do is i'll just use my routing configuration and i'll create some set of components let me create ng generate component and the component name is login and i'm using a skip hyphen test because i don't want to create the test files and hit enter so it created a login component and here we are not creating any modules because the approach will be same even for modules and even for components so now let me go here ng generate component and the component name is something like dashboard and hyphen hyphen skip hyphen tests hit enter now let's understand the scenarios before understanding that i'll go into app routing and i'll write all my configurations one is the path the path is something like an empty and path match is full and redirect to will be something like slash login already we discussed all about routing in my previous video watch that for better understanding so let me go and create one more path where the path is login and the component is login com. and there is one more thing called as a path with dashboard and now let me go and create a component called as dashboard component save this now let me go into the browser and you can see here it is login works because the default route is login now the user has been not logged in into the application in real time when the user goes to the dashboard for example something like dashboard hit enter and you can see dashboard in general when the user does not log in then why we need to show all the routes which are after the post login that means i have a pre-login let me consider that pre-login as login page once the user logged in successfully then only he has to see all my routes that is how we need to work with routing but here what's happening i am able to navigate to the dashboard page without authenticating a particular user so that is not happening in this in that way auth guards or angular guards will help us to protect our routes so for example if the user does doesn't log in and try to access all the authorized urls then we will not allow him to use them until unless the user logs in so that is how it helps in activating a particular route so now second thing is there could be a situation when you are filling a form and just clicking on the back button you want to show a prompt to a user like do you want to save these changes or not in that situations this routes guards will help us and also there is something like you have a layouts for example i have discussed about admin layout and auth layout in my previous videos so for example admin layout can only access when the user is authenticated so until that we should not allow all the layout children should not be loaded in that case this router guards will be used so there are different types of authentication guards which helps us not to load until unless we are giving a permission that means you need to authenticate them with some set of conditions and based on some based on that conditions these routes can be accessed so now how to create a router guard so how to create this let me go here and create a router guard by using our cli ng generate and the guard so g for guard so for example i want to go with auth guard so i want to go with auth guard this is used for authenticating and we can skip the test files because it generally creates this but let me see without an option of skip test and hit enter if you see here we have four different guards that is can activate can activate child can deactivate and can match so it is prompting you which you want to create we'll discuss each and every guard in individual videos for now you remember there are four types of authentication guards or router guards 
so can activate it defines that if you access or if you give a permission to activate then only that particular route will activate and if you want to select some options you can deselect this by you clicking on space and if it is not selected and if you click on space it automatically selects so i am clicking on space you can see here we can deselect and select and once you select this and hit enter it will create a particular file for us so let me hit this if you see here it has created two files one is guard.ts and one is guardspec.ts uh, spec is used as a testing file so if you don't want to create a spec file then how what is a command let me remove this delete and just use hyphen hyphen skip hyphen tests and hit enter it will create only one file with a activated route so this you can see auth guard which is created with the na same name but without a spec file and if you see this auth guard it is by default a functional auth guard for example, if you are creating this auth guard before 14, this will not be the case. In our previous versions, it is something like a class component directly, a class type of boilerplate code by default. So how to create a class type of boilerplate code? For example, let me use a command ng generate guard and the guard name is auth which is of type class and you can use skip hyphen tests. There is one more option that is nothing but functional is equal to false that means you are not creating a functional you are creating a class level of auth guard let me hit this now again it is asking the which type of guard you want i want can activate and hit enter so you can see auth class if you see here it is created in a class format but if you see this can activate has been deprecated from our angular 16 that means in the future we may not get this can activate interface that is the reason we are just using this auth guard as a function and it has an interface called as can activate function and you have a route and you have a state and if you go here you also have a route and a state so we have created a can activate let me create a can deactivate class and hit enter so let me deselect this and select the can deactivate and hit enter so now it created a class with can deactivate and if you see here can deactivate is also deprecated so if you want to create a functional can deactivate just go here and make it as true or just don't pass that option functional let me hit enter now it will be creating you a class it will be creating a file with a function that has the can deactivate hit enter now a merge conflict because the same name we are using just rename this to deactivate function and hit enter and select and select this by using space and hit enter now if you go to the functional part you can see deactivate functional guard so this has four parameters one is component one is current route one is current state and next state so i'll explain you each and every option why we are using this and what is the purpose of using them okay and in the same way let me create ng generate and the guard guard name is something like child guard and skip hyphen tests and use functional as false because all the previous versions are using functionals as false and they will be creating in a class type hit enter and let me deselect this and select activated child and let me hit enter you can see child dot guard it also has can activate child it is also deprecated and if you want to create a function command with the same thing but i'll use child functional hyphen functional hit enter and deselect and select this so if you can go here it is something like child function guard which is of type can activate child function so remember you should use a class type in your previous versions of angular that's why you have to know both cli commands one is a functional with the true and functional with the false so if you have functional with the false then it will be creating a class level of guard if you are using functional as true or if you are not giving that option it will be creating as a function guard automatically that is a default option over here so now we have created them by using our cli the next option is 
if you see we are done with the third one and we also done with the second one the types of guards options to create the guards there are two options that is what we learned that is functional equal to true and functional equal to false maybe try to adapt for our functional type of guards why because in the future this may be the deprecated class type of guards will be removed so that's why always recommend to use the latest features which are given by angular so that the approach will be good and the performance will be increased so that's how this auth guards can be used and how to utilize these guards so utilization of guards and how to create some set of guards and how to perform some actions on the guards we'll see in the upcoming videos hope you like my explanation if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you